How do you take a loan without any sort of collateral on the chain? The special type of loan present on blockchains which allow you to take a loan without providing any sort of collateral provided that you return it in that specific transaction. That loan is called a flash loan and in today's video we're going to understand how do we take advantage of a flash loan to make something happen. What's up everyone, GM, 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 welcome to Web3 Club and in today's video we are finally going to learn what are flash loans, how do we use them, where are they useful, how do you go about it and a bunch of stuff here and there. By the way, today's video is presented to you by ETH India Hackathon. ETH India is I guess Asia's biggest Ethereum hackathon and it is uh, run by Devfolio. So if this is something that interests you, please go ahead, check out ethindia.co. I'll link to it in the description down below. The hackathon will be from 2nd December to 4th of December. It's only going to be invite only. So if I were you, I would just go ahead and apply today so that you get a good chance of being accepted. It doesn't cost anything to apply and a maximum team size available is 5. So just go ahead, get your team and just apply. The hackathon will be from 2nd to 4th December in Karnataka, Bangalore. So if you're looking to explore India's Silicon Valley, just fly in. Now back to flash loans, but before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you find something weird, something funny, just leave, leave it in the YouTube comments. If you want to send me a message, a sponsor a video, want my consultation anywhere, just send me a mail. My email address is available on my YouTube channel's about page. I, I believe it, it shows up on the desktop. And if you have a specific question, if you want to get your questions, doubts cleared, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. All right, with that said, let's get started. First things first, what are flash loans? And as per Aave's documentation, flash loans are a special transaction that allow you to borrow an asset as long as the borrowed asset is returned in the same transaction. Generally, they come with a fee and it is a feature that is provided by Aave. So Aave has a new protocol called Aave V3. It's not really new, It's it's been there since long, but I mean new for a lot of purposes because it's the latest one. Uh, and it's not on ethereum yet so today's video will not be on ethereum but it will be applicable on all of these networks so optimism arbitrum harmony polygon phantom and avalanche all these networks we will cover today i mean you don't really need to do anything you just need to write the code once and then deploy everywhere and it will work seamlessly everywhere so Aave, Aave v3 has two types of flash loans one is flash loan and one is flash loan simple Today, we are going to focus on Flash Loan Simple. Now, how does it execute? What, what goes on in the, in the background? What happens? So what we do is we create, let's say, a, a, a smart contract. That smart contract calls Aave and asks for a Flash Loan. So Aave provides us with the Flash Loan. And after that, Aave calls back a function on our smart contract which we need to execute. Now in that execution, what we need to make sure is after the execution is done, we return the loan that we have taken and give it back to Aave. And how do we give it back? We simply approve that ERC20 token for Aave to take it back. If Aave is not able to take back the amount plus fees, the transaction will fail and you will just end up wasting gas. You will not make any money and you will not be able to keep those assets as well. Now, why would you want to do this? There are a bunch of reasons, but let's say you want to, you see some arbitrage in two DEXs and what you want to do is take advantage of it. So you can take a flash loan so that, you know, you can take a huge amount without having your, having it yourself, do the arbitrage, make some money and return the flash loan back. Similarly, if you want to liquidate a, a position, let's say for MakerDAO, for Aave or anything like that, uh, any sort of loan that anybody has taken and it needs to be liquidated in that scenario as well, what you can do is take a flash loan, liquidate, liquidate the person and return the flash loan and keep your profit. Now, the flash loan fee sort of depends on a lot of things, uh, but generally you can figure out with this function uh, from the Aave smart contract. Now, how do we do this? So to, to do this, what we basically need is this specific uh, flash loan simple receiver to be implemented. And Aave has given us a base contract as well. So today we are going to use that. So to figure out the base contract, what you do is you go to Aave, Aave V3 contracts, flash loan. And in flash loan, there's a base thing, all right? So now in the base, what you need is flash loan simple receiver. 
all right so once once you have this what you will do is open remix and you will simply write this code that i've already written written <laughs> so i'm going to explain i'm going to run run you through this code and explain what it does all right so the couple of things that i've already done is imported open zeppelins uh, ierc20 and safe myth okay once we have these two things what we also need is this flash loan simple receiver base all right so to do that we have ave slash core v3 slash contract slash flash loan slash base and then flash loan simple receiver base dot sol this in itself is uh, an abstract contract all right so once we have that what we do is write contract simple flash loan which is flash loan simple receiver base okay now if you check out the simple receiver base it has this i pool address and everything and nothing nothing else you know we need to sort of worry about so one thing that we basically need to understand is that in the constructor what will happen is we will ask for the i pool address uh, all right i pool address provider and to figure out what the address will be what we'll do is go here click on v3 uh, we can just go here and click on v3 over here and uh, the network that we are working with is polygon so let's say polygon and then uh, once you have this pool address provider you can just copy this address and just use this address when deploying all right so the next thing that we do is uh, we have this function called create flash loan and it accepts two things one is the asset and the other is the amount so now once we have these two things what we will do is uh, we basically you know just if you ignore this part what we are just doing is calling this pool which is from here we have this pool function uh, pool uh, object uh, so we are using this pool object and calling flash loan simple on that now flash loan simple um, takes five parameters one is receiver so the receiver is the smart contract where we have the logic of, that we need to run uh, after we receive flash loan so this is the receiver then there is asset so this asset is the address of the smart contract uh, of the asset so that in dice case you will have dice uh, address over here then the amount is the number of tokens that we want to sort of borrow uh, params is something that you know we can pass to this and uh, this function will again when it calls the another smart contract or the receiver smart contract uh, it it sends the params with it all right so what we need to do is basically have this uh, abi encoded params in bytes format and then we receive them over there and just decode them all right and then there's referral code which you can just safely leave to zero so receiver is this current address this current smart contract that we are using so this is what we have the as the receiver and uh, the asset and amount are sent by the argument in the params we are just letting it not be anything all right and then this is a this is an important function which is uh, execute operation now in this execute operation is the function which is called by the aves pool it is called once aves pool transfers the tokens to us all right so the asset and the amount has been transferred and now there's a premium that we need to pay back to the away now this initiator is the address uh, which actually initiated this flash loan so i believe this initiator will be the address of this specific smart contract and then params are the things that we send over here so this is the function that will be executed uh, once we receive our smart our flash loan all right so what we can do is we can run arbitrage over here integrate with uniswap to do that arbitrage integrate with any other decks we can also do liquidation so that you know if you want to liquidate let's say somebody's maker position or away position you can do that over here once everything is done what you need to do is figure out what is the total amount so what you can do is amount plus premium all right so i'm using safe math library just because everybody else uses and i'm not 100 percent certain if i can just uh, remove dot add with a plus uh, which is why i'm just using dot add over here so what you can do is what you're doing is just amount plus premium that is the amount that we owe back to ave and then what we do is we typecast asset as an ierc20 token and then approve the address of the pool with the amount that we owe to the pool so that the pool can uh, transfer these tokens back to itself and once you know the approval is done we are just logging that approval now instead of emitting the amount owed let's 
emit the amount uh, that we actually own all right so in the asset what we can emit is the balance of address this all right and this is another thing that i want to emit first before we ask for the flash loan so i'm going to emit this before we ask the flash loan and after we receive the flash loan okay so let me just make this much more clearer okay so now we once we have received our flash loan uh, this is what it will show and then we are just returning true now as per the docs uh, we need to return true if the if the if the operation was successful otherwise we return false all right so this is the smart contract that we needed now we need to do some voodoo stuff to actually make this work actually test this out because uh, we what we actually need to do is um, interact with Aave's smart contract so we obviously don't have that on remix and we don't really want to deploy this on a, a network proper network because we just want to test it out all right so what i'm going to do is something called forking the network all right but before we do that uh, let's just compile this and i i believe they will we will find some issues here yeah one issue will be we need to use 8.10 so uh, to do that we can just use this and then compile again all right, uh, compilation is not success successful because I used 8.10. So make sure that you use 8.10 if you want to work with this. Now it is giving us a couple of war warnings which we can safely ignore. Now, if we go to deploy and run, you can see that in the environment option, we have this thing called hard hat provider. And that is something that we will be using. Now, uh, what I am doing is uh, I've created a new folder and started my, my terminal over there. Now, I believe you have npx or npm node.js installed. So if you have what you have is also a, a way to basically run this npx command. So I believe you can run this. Yeah, and it should return something for you. All right. So if you don't have npx, just go ahead, figure out how to install node and npm. And I believe you will receive npx with that. So now when I once I have npx, what I do is write npx hard hat um, in it. And this is in the new flash loans directory that I am using. So, right. So once I do that, it is saying that uh, should I install hard hat and I want to do that. So I will just press E Y and just move forward. So now we're just waiting for hard hat to install and I believe it will install a bunch of other things as well with us. All right. So now it is asking us to create a JavaScript project. So let me just press enter. And this is where I want it to be the root. Yes. Do I want to add a git ignore? Yes do i want to install a few other things that come with it yes why not so again this will take a little time so just we don't have any other option just but just to wait all right once the installation completes i hope what we can do is run npx hard hat node and let's just try to run this first so now this thing actually ran without any problems all right so we can just close this what we actually did was we started a blockchain node right over here and we can simply interact with that node just like how we interact with other blockchains all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fork the polygon chain so to do that what we'll write is npx hard hat node then double hyphen fork and what you need to add over here is uh, something called the rpc url so for polygon this is the public rpc url for better um, reliability, what you should do is you should have your own RPC URL uh, by either hosting your own node or you can get your RPC URL from a provider like Infura or Alchemy. All right. So I'm going to just use uh, this one, the Polygon RPC. If you want to use, um, let's say, any of these other networks, you need to have an RPC URL for those specific networks. All right. So now I just press enter and wait for this thing to start. And again this time the, this thing basically has started so now uh, what i want to do is uh, deploy this code on this blockchain so what i'll do is um, connect remix to hard hat by clicking on the hard hat provider option now it is saying what is the json json rpc endpoint uh, and i believe this is the correct endpoint 
and you can see over here the endpoint is actually 8545 and that is exactly what is written over here so we press ok and we wait for it to connect once the connection has been established uh, the next thing that we want to do is deploy this simple flash loan on this chain okay uh, so to do that what i'm going to do is go, go back to v3 mainnet contracts click on polygon and we have pool address provider so i'm just going to copy this pool address provider's ad address by clicking on that and then copying um, from here okay so now that i've copied it i'll just paste it over here and click transact and once the transaction succeeds you can see the transaction is succeeded the transaction is su succeeded um, we can open this over here and see that we have four methods with uh, address provider as a method pool as the method and bunch of things okay so now what we can do is just simply call create flash loan but we don't have any assets all right so to fix that what i have done is i've gone ahead and figured out a couple of assets now what you can see over here is i have written a test all right which uh, basically walks us through a bunch of things and basically creates a flash loan and, and executes it uh, but we don't have any token for us all right so to fix that what i have figured out is that we have is die all right this is the address of die on polygon and we can figure out that this is actually the address on polygon by pasting it over here and you can see that this is the die stable coin okay and then what i also found was a die whale so to do that what i click did was clicked here so we have this token page then on token page we have this holders and on holders what you can do is figure out click on any of the holders for example this one make sure it is not a contract it is an eoa of, of a user okay and that user should have some matic and then what we can do is just copy their address all right once we copy their address we can put this here in the die whale so what we are going to do is we are going to use this address says uh, die um, we can because we have forked the the node what we can do is override any transaction so what we'll do is we'll take control of this address and send some die towards us okay and uh, this is the pool address provider that we already know for polygon okay so we have die and die wheel so now that we have these two things uh, what i'm going to do is create a new terminal and here i'm right i'm going to write npx hard hat node hyphen hyphen network local host so when i do that uh, and actually i don't want node i want console so when i do this uh, it will create a javascript console and connect us to the the node that is running in the different window so the first thing that i'll do is i'll just copy these two lines and paste them then i'm going to do token equals await ethers dot get contract at okay and like this is something that i know for ethers but uh, i can simply provide uh, a common interface and it will read it okay and i can just send the dies address so once i do that it did not read it for some reason uh, let me just figure out all right i figured it out with some effort so once you init the hard hat what you need to do is basically um, install open zeppelin contracts by writing npm open zeppelin slash contracts so once you do have that uh, what you can do is just open the log.sol that comes with it uh, with installing hard hat and import this line and just make log is erc20 and then put it over here uh, in the constructor so that you know you have an erc20 functioning contract and <laughs> once you have that then this is such a hacky thing to do uh, but uh, what you can do is just write ethers dot get uh, contract factory and uh, you can just write L-O-C-K over here and why L-O-C-K because this is the name of the contract over here and once you do that you can get a lock contract uh, like this and uh, with lock you can attach it to um, 
to the die okay so once you attach this to die what you can do is uh, you can get like die equals like this okay so we have die now uh, and die has let's say the symbol uh, if you want to figure out the symbol of die we can await this and we can see that it returns die so it will uh, use all the IERC20 tokens so this is something which is a little difficult weird to do but this is just that we are, this is we are doing just this for testing uh, in the real world you don't really need to do this this is just for us to test okay uh, for some reason uh, the code that you know should work which is get contract at and then IERC20 and then the die this code should work for some reason but it is giving me an error so I don't know what is going on which is why we are doing this in a very weird way which is doing this via die so i'll write this down in the description so that you can understand this copy paste stuff but this is how it goes okay so now that we have die another thing i need is i want to unlock the the die veil okay and why do i need to unlock because i want to use that um, address and get get die from there so this is our own blockchain that we are running so we can do this so to do that simply just paste this code uh, which will be there in the descriptions link somewhere uh, which is hr await hre.network.provider.request and then there's an object in this as an argument which is method hard hat underscore impersonate account and then in the params we send die underscore veil all right so this way what we can do is we can use die veil uh, die veil's address and call whatever you want to call with it so the next thing that i'll do is i will uh, you create a signer with die veil so what we'll do is just write signer equals await ethers dot get signer die underscore veil just press enter so now that we have a signer what we can do is just write die dot connect okay connect with signer so once we have connection uh, the next thing that we'll do is just write transfer and the transfer to uh, accepts the two address so the two address that we want is the address of our simple flash loan so i can copy this over here and paste this over here all right and the next thing that i want to do is let's say for now let it be zero which is the amount of die that i want to transfer okay uh, before we do anything let's just see the balance of our address okay and we await this so the balance you can see is zero uh, so the next thing that we'll do is just transfer ethers uh, dot utils dot parse ether. So parse parse ether. What it will do is it will parse this and multiply by ten to the power eighteen. Okay. So what do we want to do is we want to transfer this much amount from the signer, which is the die veil, to our uh, smart contract address, so that we can pay some uh, fees from the for the flash loan that we will take. So I press enter the transaction has I hopefully uh, completed and if I check my balance now you can see that it is much more all right so now that we have received the balance uh, what we can do is simply uh, create this flash loan okay so to create the flash loan what we need to do is just uh, copy the die address and the amount so the amount that uh, for which I want to take the loan is uh, let's say for um, 500 die okay so i want to take a flash loan for 500 die okay and i paste this over here and i click on transact and it took a little while for some reason but the transaction has gone through and i can open this transaction over here now you can see that there are logs as well uh, so what logs show you is the events that we have um, emitted so we emitted the same event twice okay uh, the events name is log so um, I'm not sure if it is visible but yeah hopefully it should be visible now so the events name is log uh, which is which we emit uh, to see what is the current balance of our token so uh, initially we had like uh, I believe a thousand tokens um, then we received a transfer uh, after that we sort of returned all right before returning we had a flash loan of 500 that was transferred so you can see that uh, after, just after the loan we had um, 1500 um, tokens but if I check now uh, what is the balance you will see that it is a little less than 10,000 because we also had to return the fees so 
this is how you do a flash loan the I, I understand that this would have been a little uh, haywire because of few things here and few things there uh, but if you were to do all of this on hard hat you wouldn't have to uh, you know go through so much pain this is how you do flash loan uh, once you you know you receive the flash loan what you will do is um, in this function called execute operation you can put whatever code you want interact with a dex interact with a liquidation protocol whatever you want to do and you know make sweet like make that money make that return whatever however you can hopefully this was not very complex and you got the gist of this thing if this video was helpful please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't i will make sure to put all the code all the links uh, in the description down below so that you can go through them if there's anything confusing please leave it in the youtube comments or join the discord server there are a bunch of people just like you and me who try to help each other out if you want to send me a message if you want to ask me for some consultation if you want to sponsor a video please send me an email and if you're a developer make sure you check out ethindia.co it's a great hackathon that i believe you should attend it's in bangalore from uh, 2nd of december to 4th of december so I, like it's a no-brainer just go ahead uh, register and i hope to see you again next week till then bye bye